still got it. You know, this game used to be more fun. <laughs> and you used to be younger. And dumber. What matters is, you're still just as fast. Because a slow pilgrim yeah, is a, a dead, dead pilgrim. pilgrim. Yeah, I know, I know. Get up here. I want to show you something. Shit, man. You're still strong. Thanks. It's good to see you, Spike. I mean, how long has it been? Far too long. But don't get all mushy on me now. Come. I want to show you something. Where are we going? You'll see. It's incredible. What's incredible? Most pilgrims don't last two, three years on the road. But you've been kicking around for what? Four years now? And you're still alive. So are you. I know. But I'm fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right, right. Seriously. I wish I had as much energy as you. Got a new lead on Jane? Nah, trail went cold after New Paris. Which route did you take? Through Baines or Gary? Eh, Baines. What a shithole. Some five rickety huts left and a ramshackle fence. <laughs> Look at that. A beehive full of honey. Can't let an opportunity like this go to waste. Uh, no way. Oh, look around. If we're lucky, there's chamomile growing here too. This will do. Do you remember that old herbalist we helped escort to her village? Oh, yeah, the one that had that saying, uh... Remember, chamomile and honey are gifts that keep giving. Combine them and lucky you, you just might go on living. Come on, we're almost there. This is it. Come on. They had a nice crib. Damn it, locked. I'll try to get through here. You check the other side. Take anything we could use. Yeah, sure. Nothing here. 
Oh, nothing in here. Then the GRE would have long since lost control of the virus. saying if you're starting to worry about someone it means it's time to go tasted back then. Who do you voodoo? Hmm. Sounds familiar. And that's what they called art? celebrate the end of the world. Uh, they died on their own terms. Let's hope we get that lucky too. <sighs> I'll see what's upstairs. You check out the garden, okay? Okay.
least they had each other. She was classy. Dearest Mary, I'm sorry I ran from you. They say that once the virus makes you turn, you're gone forever. That can't be true. I know you're still in there, underneath all that pain and disease. I'm coming to join you. No more running. God. Hey, come here. Check this out. Sit down, buddy. For you. A gift? A gift from the heavens, to be more accurate. I've just found it, by the owner's dead body. May it be of more use to you. Here. It's gone flat. <laughs> Look at you and your sophisticated palate. Drink. Who would have thought the end of the world could be so peaceful? Yeah, at least until night falls. True. I wish Crane could have seen this. Wh who? Doesn't matter. I tracked down that guy for you. Wait, what, what, what guy? Quit pretending. You became a pilgrim to track that fucker down. Waltz, I found someone who knows him. Hey, what? And you're only telling me now? Huh, when I tossed you a beer, thought you'd guess right away we were celebrating. The guy's in Villador. Supposedly he knows something about Waltz. Villador. I saw him that close, huh? I got a favor to ask you. You deliver this to Gary, it's on your way. People don't like pilgrims there, but, but they pay well. And where do people like pilgrims? Well, they're afraid of us. Everyone does their best to survive. Maybe. But when something needs to be transported through the hordes of infected, then suddenly they're knocking on our doors. All right, but you owe me one. Uh, not just one. So what about that guy? Well, I talked to him over the radio. He didn't tell me his name. Sounds like he's got something to hide. See that antenna on the hill? That'll help you contact the informant. He'll be listening for you at dawn on a frequency of 140.200 megahertz. Told him he'd hear from you soon. I'll just go straight to the city. It's not that simple. Villador was supposed to be one of the zones. Cities that were walled off to keep out the plague. The plan fucked up. But this city, and its walls, survived. But this guy knows a way in. Get in touch with him, and he'll tell you everything. What does he want in return? Didn't say. But he didn't sound like the kind of guy who does things for free. I don't think that kind of guy exists. What? What about me? 
You're an old fart who likes racing me, and makes me ask around about his crazy girlfriend. Hey, hey, hey. She's not crazy. Jane's just maybe, well, a little hot-headed. And she's always getting herself into trouble. But if you could get a load of her... <laughs> Whoa, all right. Still too early in the evening for that sort of talk. Eyes? I was going to say eyes. Beautiful. Steely. Huge. Never heard anyone get so worked up about gray eyes. Because you don't know shit about the world, let alone women. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm telling you, I'll finally find Jane. We'll set up a house. We're gonna live there. No one's gonna drive us out. And I'll stop wondering like a moron. I'll drink to that. And that waltz. What's his deal? Is he family? No. Not at all. <laughs> then why are you looking for him? Will you tell me sometime? Yeah. Yeah, one day. Well, my time's up. So when will I see you again, huh? In another two years? Maybe. Take care, man. I hope you find that waltz guy. Or whoever you're looking for. And remember, 140.200 megahertz. At dawn. The guy's waiting for you.
Almost there. Oh, it's already dark. 
It's time to hide somewhere for the night. It won't get any better than this. The broadcast station should be here somewhere. Okay, let's give it a try. This is it. The broadcast station. I gotta start the generator.
Okay, right, let's roll. Uh, this is Aiden, over. Anyone there looking for a pilgrim? Over. Uh, I guess I have to wait until morning. Well, you know, I came all the way from Terzawa and looked. And there's a hole in the can. Had to go all the fucking way back. Solve Lucas's murder real quick. This business for Lucas is bucked up, but you can't take your anger out on the bazaar. Charlie says a fox beat him. What fox? They've been extinct for over a decade. Probably some biter chumped him and he's talking crap. But his marker's glowing green. Well, he's already infected. What you expect? Still, you keep an eye on him. He won't confide in me. Just makes those speeches of his to the mirror. Ator will never be like the commander. They're coming from one of those bizarre idiots. Well, I was surprised. seen Dennis today? Nope. Come to think of it, I haven't seen him for a couple of days. Why? He went to the old GRE containers to look for medicine. Told him it had been looted already, and that he's suicidal. If he went alone, we might as well just dig him a grave. Enough of that. Time to sleep. I'll try again in the morning. everyone. Maybe they're all dead. <laughs> You're stupid. Let's go. Now. Shh. It'll be all right. Have you brought 12346? We were supposed to take the patients back to the city. Don't worry. They'll let us go soon. Edie, I'm scared. I'm here with you. You're safe with me. I know. Do what I tell you.
easy. Ceases. Even if they separate us, this is how we'll always find each other. The military will be here any moment. Wait. Close your eyes. Time to contact the guy Spike was talking about. This is Aiden. I'm on frequency 140.200 megahertz. Hello? Aiden? Yes. I was supposed to get in touch with you. For Waltz, Pilgrim. To find someone else. Her name is Mia. Fifteen years ago, we were in a hospital together and. I know who you're looking for, Aiden. You want to know why Waltz was doing those experiments on all of you. Why you are stronger, more durable than others. Now, I just want to find Mia. I've been looking for her since I left the survivors' camp. I... Can you help me or not? Maybe I can. Let's meet, Pilgrim. Where and when? Entrance to the metro tunnel by the bay. You can get inside the tunnels through an open GRE hatch. I'll meet you there. I take it you're not doing this for free. I have to leave the city, but I won't make it on my own outside. Take me to New Paris, and we're even. Along the way, I'll tell you everything I know. Over and out. Wait! I have to at least know if she's alive. She's alive. I'm going to the rendezvous. I'll see you later, Aiden. <laughs> 